live from Timur Square in the heart of Tashkent, Uzbekistan. And the story here, the history here is something that really is interesting and it's a history that many people don't know. It's a history that I didn't know before I came here and it's a history that's worthwhile sharing. Many people would have heard of the Jewish community of Uzbekistan. We would have heard of the Buharian Jews, a beautiful, colorful, vibrant community. But what many people don't realize and won't necessarily understand is the history of the Jews during the Second World War. Now, for a Jew like me of European descent, one of the things that we always think of, obviously, is the six million who perished. What we don't always realize is that there were those who were able to escape and run away. And the story of the Jews who came here is a fascinating and important story to tell. In 1941, when the R Germans sort of pushed the Soviets a little bit further back and started to push and encroach on the Soviet border, entering Belarus and Ukraine and other such countries, a lot of Jews understood that it was time to run. They'd seen what had happened to their Jewish brethren from the Polish side and from other places and started to move towards where they thought would be better and safer for them. And Jews started to move and run. And one of the places that they decided to come was towards Middle Asia. One of the reasons was the weather, the opportunity, the thought that this could be a better place. And there was also a strong push from Stalin to move workers towards the Soviet Union, to have an opportunity for them to be able to use their skills as laborers. And roughly a million Jews in total escaped and ran to this area. And here in Tashkent, a quarter of a million Jews came. And it leads to a very interesting question and a perspective of, on one hand, thanksgiving towards the Uzbeki people for taking care and helping the Jewish brethren, because this was a difficult time, not for everybody. This was war. And even today, as a visitor to Uzbekistan, it's not the easiest place. I keep kosher. For me, eating here is almost impossible. I'm having a very difficult time finding really anything to eat. The weather is harsh, it's difficult, different, incredibly different to what a European Jew would have experienced back then. So imagine being brought to this location, being brought to this place and attempting to relive your life, to start from the beginning. And these quarter of a million or so Jews who came here, for a lot of them, this was paradise. I've been here for a week already and received many messages from people around the world, from many people telling me of their families, of their histories, of people who came here and experienced wonderful things. They said as the war ended, they kissed the ground of Uzbekistan. They were grateful and thankful for what they saw here, on one hand. But on the other hand, there were those, unfortunately, that died here. We visited the Jewish cemetery, a cemetery in the heart of Tashkent that's almost completely destroyed a cemetery that's very difficult to see. The reason being that the entire group of people who were buried there, almost none of their family stayed. So this cemetery is left really kind of lost in time. However, again, it brings us to the question of the gratefulness that we could or should show to the Uzbeki people and how we should act and respond towards this. And on one hand, again, the graciousness that they showed to a lot of us, the Jewish orphans that were taken in as well as hundreds of thousands of Poles and others who escaped towards it. And this history is a history that's worth exploring and understanding. A history that I didn't know very well until I came here and saw for myself. And a history that hopefully we'll be able to, as a foundation through From the Depths, be able to delve into and share more and learn more about as time goes along. So for me here in Tashkent, in the heart of Uzbekistan, goodbye.